Once upon a time, there lived a rich merchant. He was so rich that he didn't even know how much money he had. This merchant had three daughters. Two of them were selfish, lazy and unkind. But the third one was incredibly polite, generous and loving. With her flowing brown hair and big green eyes, she was both beautiful and of good character, so her father simply called her Beauty. Beauty never wanted to upset her father. Her sisters, on the other hand, only thought of money, dresses and jewels. This is why their father loved Beauty the most. One evening, Beauty dreamed of a tall, handsome, dark-haired prince. In her dream, she was wearing a marvellous dress while dancing with the prince. At the end of their dance, the prince gifted her a rose. When she woke up, she was still smiling and dancing with the effect of her dream. Her sisters watched in shock, filled with jealousy. Days went by, and one day, Beauty's father received terrible news. A powerful storm had destroyed all of the merchant's oh. ships. They had all sunk and he had lost all his wealth. We've lost everything, girls. The only thing we have left is this house. I'm very sorry. Don't be sad, father. Nothing really matters as long as we're all together. I'm going to pray every day for you to smile again and for your luck to turn. I hope that sometime soon we will be rich again. Not long after, they received good news that one of their ships hadn't sunk. Upon hearing this news, their father, with oh. joy, headed to the port. We're probably safe now. We're rich again. After I sell all the merchandise, what would you like me to bring you? Beautiful dresses and shoes. Precious jewels. My dear father, just come back to us safe and sound. I don't want anything. But if you can bring me a red rose, I'll be very happy. The merchant bid his girls farewell and went to the port. But when he arrived, he <gasps> couldn't believe his eyes. The ship was destroyed and all the merchandise had fallen into the sea and was lost. So, nothing had changed. They were still poor. Sadly, on his way back home, without realising, he entered the forest. For some time he tried to find the road, but at this point he and his horse were both very tired. Suddenly, he spotted a light in the distance. It was getting dark, so he hurried and headed towards the light. A magnificent palace appeared before him. It was a palace with lights all around it and a huge garden. The palace had a mysterious feel. When the merchant arrived at the garden gates, they opened spontaneously. Going through a path with lots of trees, he reached the door of the palace, which also opened spontaneously. Though the merchant didn't understand what was going on, he went inside. Good evening. Is anyone here? He walked past the huge living room and other rooms, asking if anyone was home. He suddenly found himself before a table full of different types of food, desserts and fruits. Since he was very hungry, he sat down and ate until he was full. Wandering in awe around the alluring rooms of the palace, he looked for a place to sleep. He found a beautiful bedroom on the top floor. Well, there's nothing to do now. When the owners of the palace arrive, I'll thank them for everything. He lay down on the bed and fell asleep. The next day, when he went downstairs, this time, he saw that a beautiful large breakfast table had been set for him. I think that luck has found me again. There's even fresh juice. But I have to go now. Even if I didn't get to meet you, thank you very much. Goodbye. 
He went out to the garden and just as he approached the gates, he saw a beautiful red rose. I'll take this rose for my daughter as a souvenir. Beauty will love it. He picked the rose. At the same time, he heard a noise behind him. When he turned around, there was a monster. It was a scary monster, black hairy hands, huge mouth and eyes, and sharp teeth. I did everything to make you stay comfortable. Aren't you ashamed of picking the flower without permission? I'm sorry, sir. My intentions weren't bad. I have three girls. One of them asked me to bring back a rose for her. I picked it for my daughter. Please forgive me. So you have three daughters then? Yes, sir. Well, I will only forgive you on one condition. One of your daughters must come and stay with me willingly. If no one comes, I will punish you very badly. Here, I'm giving you my fastest horse. I expect both of you within a week. If not, you will pay the price for your insolence. The merchant, wanting so desperately to stay alive, climbed on the horse and went straight home. He explained to his daughters everything that had happened. Which one of you will come with me there? I can't live with the monster. Beauty is the one to be blamed. She should go. Yes, it's her fault that Dad encountered this monster. She should go. Okay, okay. Father, don't be upset. I will go willingly and I will save you. My beautiful girl. You're going because of me. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad, Father. Everything will be fine. When they arrived at the palace, everything was the same as before. The fire was burning in the fireplace, the table was full of food, and bright lights were lit everywhere. Since they were both hungry from the long journey, they sat at the table and had dinner. Not long after that, the monster headed downstairs. Good evening, and welcome. My name is Beast. Will you stay here with me? Yes, sir. I wanted that rose. It's not my father's fault. He only wanted to bring me a gift. Then your father will live tomorrow, and you will stay here and be my friend. The next day, Beauty's father left. I'll miss you very much. Forgive me, my dear. I'll miss you too. Please don't worry. Just take care of yourself. Waving, she bid her father farewell from the garden gates. Days went by, but she was incredibly sad. She cried every day. One night as she was crying, what will I do with the beast? How will I get used to this? He appeared before her. Good evening. How are you? Is your room comfortable? Do you need anything? Your wish is my command. But you coming here at your own will has made me incredibly happy. Ah, uh, if only you like me a little. Is it because I'm ugly? Beauty always told him the truth. I don't like you, but I've gotten used to you. Just wait and see. One day I'll make you like me. You won't see the ugliness of my face, but you'll see the kindness of my heart. That's what's important. They were actually becoming quite good friends. They played piano together and sang songs. They wandered around the garden and fed the birds. Beauty realized that Beast wasn't as ugly as she thought he was. In fact, she had started to like him. One night, she dreamed of her father and saw he had become really ill. The next morning... Good morning. Last night I saw my father in my dream. He was very ill. Please let me go and visit my father for a week. I've missed him so much. Will you let me? Okay then. Exactly one week. If you go over one week and not come back, I will die here. Don't forget that. I promise. I'll see him and come right back. Then, let's put this magical heart-shaped medallion on your neck. If you make a wish while holding it tightly, it will come true. They parted in this way. I want to go to my father. She arrived at her father's house. 
Her father was so pleased to see her that he started feeling better almost immediately. I missed you so much, Beauty. I miss you too, father. Her sisters didn't understand what just happened and how she just suddenly arrived. They were still jealous of Beauty. Beauty told her father everything. That she was now happy and that he shouldn't be sad anymore. She stayed a week at her father's house without realizing how time passed by. One day, she saw Beast in her dream lying on the floor. Thinking that he had died, she became incredibly frightened. It dawned on her that she was late by one day. She felt guilty because she hadn't kept her promise. He told me that if I stayed over a week that he would die. What selfishness this is! If something happened to him because of me, I will never be able to forgive myself! She immediately bid her father and sisters farewell, took the medallion in her hand, holding it tightly, kissed it and made her wish. She found herself in Beast's palace. Beast was on the floor with his eyes closed. Helpless, Beauty had no idea what to do. I shouldn't have left you alone. Please forgive me. <laughs> Beauty, thinking that she had lost Beast, kept on crying. Suddenly Beast opened his eyes. I finally realized how much I love you. Can you really love someone as ugly as me? Of course. I will never part with you again. Then will you marry me? Yes, yes. Suddenly, with a blinding light, Beast's face started to change. A handsome prince took his place. He was tall with thick dark hair. Oh! You're the prince that I was dancing with in my dream. Yes. An evil witch turned me into the beast. The only way for the spell to be broken was if a girl accepted my hand and married despite my ugliness. Thank you for saving me, Beauty. Not long after that, the prince and Beauty got married. They brought her merchant father and her sisters to the palace as well. They lived happily ever after. This was a victory of inner beauty. Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondasan and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.